April 19th, 2017 will always be a big date in my mind. Um, I'm, I get very like sentimental with things like that, and I'm like, this, this was the day it all, it all started. <laughs> this is the beginning of a whole new journey. <laughs> this really is. I, I re this is the beginning of like a whole new life, I feel like. This is week one of the video diary. Last week I had an endoscopy done, so this week I got the letter basically saying all is well, I'm good, I'm alright for the surgery. I'm just gonna go through a couple quick questions for you. Um, um, did you still want Dr. Shope as your surgeon? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so make sure he's doing your surgery. After I've lost a significant amount of weight with the surgery, I expect my life to get easier in certain areas. When it comes to school, like I said, mobility climbing steps or sitting in smaller desks, have an easier time shopping for clothes. We're going to Cheesecake Factory! Yay! Even though I can't eat. I didn't really consider bariatric surgery for myself until my mom was considering it for herself and that was kind of what sealed the deal for me. We are back, we're from Nigeria, right, in West Africa and um, the notion that we have in Africa is the bigger you are, the more money you have to spend. So when we came here, all our weight just, you know, grew up and it was something else. Okay, I've got up to like 50 pounds, yeah, since we came here. And then you want to feed your children what you miss as a child. You don't want them to miss it. Eat whatever you want to eat, you know. Okay, so I decided I wanted McDonald's for breakfast. Hi, can I have one bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle meal? Large hot caramel mocha. I think a lot about college will be different from high school. I want to be a lot more social in college. I actually want to join a lot more clubs. And now I have this kind of surgery thrown in there, the, the after effects, the aftermath of that. Good morning, it's April 19th. It's the day of surgery. I'm really happy, I'm really excited. Mom, are you excited? Yay! <laughs> I'm having vertical sleep gastrectomy today and I decided to do this because I I know I'm like 230 pounds overweight. I, I've thought a lot about the life changes, the positive life changes that's going to come from this. I'm really, really excited for them. I'm happy. I'm chill at the same time. I don't know. I'm like mellow, but excited. It's weird. I don't know, but I'm not nervous. Well, if I was gonna rate it from one to 10, 10 being like the worst pain I've ever felt, it was probably maybe around a seven. Nausea, pain in my ab my abdominal area. I threw up at least twice while I get full very quickly. I also, you know, I, I get hungry quicker than I expected. So a few weeks ago, I noticed that my weight went up. There's no way I could have eaten enough food to maintain my weight. I was really sad. Like, I, I didn't tell my mom until like four days after I weighed myself. I looked through some like chats and things of people who had bariatric surgery around three or four weeks. Their weight will stall or go up even, and it's not necessarily uncommon. Initially, my intentions were to go to college, but due to like financial issues, 
uh, I decided that the best thing was for me to defer for a year. So I'm working 40 hours a week, so I'm going to be saving at least half of my income um, for school. So I just finished with my first day of my first job ever, which was at Checkers. They really just had me on the grill, like flipping patties. I was on my feet the whole time as expected. I did definitely get hot at times. My feet kind of hurt, but I, it was my first day. So me and my sister decided that we were gonna start walking to Safeway. The first time we did it, it was such a mess. We were so weak, but we stuck through it because because we're champions. <laughs> what are we? Champions! That's what are we? Champions! I'm so serious, they're gonna kick us out of this goddamn community. <laughs> Overall, I just felt like Checkers wasn't the job for me. It was, I mean, it was just so uncomfortable. I was also slow because of my lethargy from being so hot all the time. I interviewed at Safeway and I was hired same day. It's cold because it's a grocery store. It's much more comfortable for me. I had my surgery about four and a half months ago by bariatric standards. My progress isn't that good, but I mean by my own personal standards, 50 pounds in four and a half months is great. What I decided to do was meal prepping. I made sure that everything I, every like bowl I made had at least 30 grams of protein in it. So I went shopping recently and I was trying on the same sizes that I was wearing pre-op. I was noticing that they were too big on me. And then I tried on things that were 14, 16 <laughs> and they fit. And I said, what you talking about? I was just so excited and in the dressing room, they were playing music. I was dancing along. I was so happy. I don't think I, like as I was looking through the videos, I actually don't think I saw a single video of a teenager. Um, I feel like when you're younger, you have a bit less control in your life. So you have to be able to adapt to all of the changes that are coming your way, regardless of whether you ask for them. So the first few months, I was really in this mindset of like, I don't have to do as much because the surgery, like the, the restrictive space in my stomach is enough to just, to just sort of on its own help me lose a lot of weight without me having to put in much effort. And I think that is true for a lot of bariatric patients, but it really wasn't for me. It, I don't know, I think it helped me grow as a person. For me, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't super, super ideal, but I, I wasn't just gonna sit back and then be upset about it and just let it happen. I'm not that type of person. <laughs> update for you guys I've been super super dedicated to me and my mom's business I've been putting in a ton of time and effort I've also been applying to colleges and applying to scholarships right now I weigh around 310 bringing my total weight loss to 76 pounds in eight months like, it is beautiful how life can change like that so unexpectedly it's just been absolutely amazing